Yo, what's up? Welcome to Madhouse Pro. My mic is hot. How y'all doing today? Hope y'all enjoying y'all Thanksgiving weekend. Hope it was good. Family and food, right? Family first, food, food later. Hey, uh, um, I'm doing this actually I'm doing this video for a family member, uh, my cousin over there in Arkansas. So let's get into it. So, um. All my UAD users, we're running into an issue. Some of us, some of us, not all of us, because you got to understand um, working with your system that you got. Excuse me. Um, you got to you got to know how to use your tools. So using the Apollo Twin, uh, you got a duo and a core, the a duo and a quad. Duo meaning two, quad meaning four. So that gives you four different channels or in the your con your Apollo twin or your con your whatever thing you got that you're using. Uh, if you got a duo, you got two chips in there that allows you DSP. If you got the quads, you got four uh, that allows you to uh, rack up on a DSP. And what does that mean is you can run so many uh, VSTs from UAD or so many plugins before you hit a limit, right? And um. I pulled this up just to show you guys. So um, let's go with the Unison channel, right? Because if you run that, anything, we'll just go with the API. All right. My vocal probably switched on you guys, but I'm still here. So I'm going to adjust this just a little bit for you guys so uh, you can hear me a little bit clearer. But you can hear the difference once I switched it over to... Uh, I'm gonna move this out the way. Once I switch it over to the Unison channel, the voice just got clamped and tight. Like, man, that's dope, right? But um, that's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna add on on the same channel, on channel two, to get to the point. So uh, I'm gonna go to another channel script because I know channel scripts they tend to uh, use up a lot of uh dsp power what do i mean by that let me go down here and um open up right here the control panel right i'm gonna click this configuration where did i find this stuff at? all right system info what you're looking at um this is telling me how many total DSP chips I got in my Apollo Twin. I have a total of four. Uh, one is using 7.5. One is using 7.8. One is using 57.1. And another one is using 1.2. Uh, then the program usage is down here as well. But that's the way it's looking. So just to give you an idea, of how many do I? How many cores do I have? I got four. If you see two, that means you only got two. Um, now in relation to what's being used, um, they showing me right here like 18%. I'm not sure that number really don't add up to the whole usage. So uh, I have two, so that's spread that across the DSPs for usage. So uh, we're gonna add on another channel script. Uh, we'll go, I know this one used a lot. All right, so now we're looking at 28. We're using uh, Helios 69. I'm going to bring that up a little bit. Um, we got a total of three on the channel. One through the Unison preamp. Then we got Sentry 2, Helios. Now let's try the fourth one. Let's go to another channel strip. And let's use Neve 1073. All right. There we go. Boom. This is the thing that you're going to see when you're using, uh, when you didn't run out of DSP. But it's disabled right here, right? You see it's disabled. It say one or more UAD plugins are disabled because DSP resources were exceeded. Learn about managing DSP resources. We're going to click no. We could click yes, but they're going to give us the whole spill on how to use it and how it's spread across two channels. Uh, one input is spread off between two channels. Cause you got two inputs so you got a total of four but they show you how through that manual but 
the 1073 didn't go through because guess what, right? We didn't match that on the DSP. So let's uh hit this one. Go to system info. Uh, they're showing you how the DSP is used. Uh, I say one, two, three. So one chip is using like 97.4. I don't know how they do the arithmetic or math with that. One is using 7.5, 7.8, and 1.2. So that's well above 100. Or, you know, I don't know how to calculate all that, but. <laughs> So we got that going on, right? So um, we we're only allowed right now. Let's see how many we got. No, we don't need another one. I just want to look at this stuff. So we got a total of three, right? One, two, three, four. So the Neve didn't open, so the Neve don't count. So. Um, here's something that you could do so we're going to get rid of that one we're going to remove so we got one two three right so when you run into issues like this say for instance there is a fourth or a fifth one that you want to use find the best one in your first channel and i think i got this right and i may be backwards so we're going to get rid of helios sentry tube all right, we down to just the API vision, right? So once you got rid of those, uh, the trick, and somebody said it in the UAD group, and it was so ingenious. They was like, look, don't run it through console if you don't have to or you need more. Uh, you, you want your computer to use the DSP. So I was like, he thinking right, right? <laughs> so uh, use the... If you want to wet it up or have it printed when, when you record, use your unison joint. That's what that's for, right? You can hear the difference when I turned it on. But if you want to add your other ones, all right, let's go over here to uh, my mic. We're going to activate it. All right. So you probably got two vocals or whatnot. Let me mute that one so you can hear me only once. All right. So if we're sitting over here now, uh, let me open this back up. Get rid of that. So you can be sitting here like, all right, but I still need the other inserts. Look, if you're in Pro Tools, you got these other inserts right here on your channel. So you could just hit them up right there. Plug in. Now, here's something that uh, the reason for doing this, right? So when you come in here and you say like, all right, I needed the EQ, right? It was by UAD. If you bought it through UAD for um, your basic stuff, meaning, how can I say, to use with their hardware only, because some of us bought this, the UAD plugins, just because of the hardware and the Unison preamp. But say, for instance, you bought, you got the UAD Connect, right? And now you could use it natively, nat natively in your DAW. You have a second set of UAD plugins, right? So when you see right here, UAD, Mag, Manly Vox. But if you got Connect and you installed it, now you got the ones that you purchase over here. So like I purchased the Neve, right? 1073. It's UAD X. And that's the difference. You got your regular UAD, but you come over here, you got your UAD X. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven plugins from UAD that I threw connect that I could use. And it's not going to use highly none of this stuff. So let's go to, uh, let's just use the regular 1073, right? Now, if you see when I click that regular one, my DSP jump, boom, it jumped like, yo, right? Um, that's cool, right? But we go take that one out and let's watch what happened, right? No insert. So it goes back down to 11, right? So y'all like, man, what's the purpose? Here's the purpose. So next time I go here, I'm going to click plug in. I'm going to go to EQ. I'm going to go here. I'm going to use the, my UAD uh, 1073. This the mono joint, right? But this is to connect because it's UAD X. So I click this one. Booyah. It's not using any of the DSP, right? So my system won't be lagged down to the DSP of the Apollo Twin. 
So I could go here and be like, bet. But still, guess what? Yet and still, I still got all this extra stuff I could use. So Manly Box, right? UADX. Boom. Man, uh-oh, it's looking good. So I could start maxing out on basically everything, depending on your computer. Let me say that. So the Pui Tech, right? So now we're going to go to UAD uh, Pui Tech, right? Pui Tech. I said Pui Tech. Uh, let me see which one I got down at. Uh, EQP18, right? Now let's watch what happened. It only went up 2%. two percent, So that's not bad. And I guess you could see the channel. I wonder if that makes a difference. Give me one more plug-in. So, you know, we're going to trigger happy on the plug-ins. Uh, I bought this one. So let's use the uh, UAD V76. 3%. So each one use something different, right? So just be mindful, like UADX gives you the the uh, the native ones that you could use and not utilize your DSP. So that's a tip, y'all. So just keep that in mind, y'all. Hey, I'm not going to keep you long. I hope you learned something. If you got a question, shoot back to me, man. Other than that, enjoy. This is uh, T-Mac from Madhouse Pro. Be safe. I hope y'all enjoyed your Thanksgiving. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe. And I'm out.